Now, what does your left hand do while your right hand is playing chords? Well, the good news is the left hand doesn't have to do very much. If you're playing a C major chord with your right hand, your left hand is just going to play usually the, the first note that your thumb is playing. So if you're playing a C and your thumb is on the C, then your left hand is either going to play a C also with the thumb, or it could play a lower C with your fifth finger. This is called an octave, by the way. Any note that's the same but it's, in a, but it's eight notes apart is called an octave. So I can play a C like this with my left hand, or I can play a C like this with my left hand, or if you can reach, you can play both at once, which is what I do normally, play an octave C and C. So whatever chord you're playing with your right hand, your left hand is just going to play the same note that your thumb is playing. So if I'm playing a C, I'm gonna go like this, but I don't usually keep my fingers out of the way. I'm doing that so you can see. I would play it like this, okay? So if I take this and I'm playing an F chord, then I'm gonna play an F down here, or both with an octave. If I'm playing a G chord, I'm just going to play the G note. And that's practically all that your left hand has to do. I mean, I'm going to show you some more interesting things that it can do, but really it just follows along and plays the basic notes. All right, now let's get into the cool stuff about how the numbering system works. Because numbering doesn't just work out how to play the the notes that are in a certain chord, it also helps you put songs together. So first of all, there are hundreds if not thousands of songs that just use three chords. All the old 50s songs and lots of 60s songs and current songs, you know, Twist and Shout, Johnny Be Good, those are all three chords. So like Twist and Shout is... Uh, Shake it up baby, twist and shout, twist and shout. Okay. So instead of remembering what the chords are, so if I'm playing in the key of C, twist and shout is C, F, and G, all right? But I'm not going to remember it as C, F, and G. Everybody teaches you to learn it in C, F, and G. But what happens if you're playing with a singer who says, oh, that's out of my range, I need to play it in A? Well, then you don't know how to play it because you only learn how to play it in C, F, and G. That's why I teach you to not learn the chords but to learn the numbers. So if you're playing in the key of C, what is an F? An F is a four note, right? Because you got one, two, three, four, five. So in the key of C, the C is the one, the F is the four, and the G is the five. So if you're playing a three chord song that has C, F, and G, that's a one chord, a four chord, and a five chord. So the four chord meaning you're putting your thumb there and you're figuring out the rest of the notes. Thumb there, rest of the notes. So Twist and Shout is a 1 4 5 song, just like Johnny Be Good is. So once you know 1 4 5, 1 4 5, you don't have to remember the, the, the note names, you just remember that it's a 1 4 5 song. So 1 4 5 4 1 4 5 4 1. If I'm playing in a different key, let's say I'm playing in an A. Alright, well, in A, the the A is a 1, the D is the 4, and the E is the 5. So since we know it's a 1-4-5 song, we can just transpose, which is what it's called when you go to a different key, and we can play it in that. So this is a, this is a 1 chord, this is the 4 chord, I got my hand as a claw, that's, that's a 4 chord, which is a D, that's a 5, which is an E, that's a 4, and that's a 1. Alright, so I'm going to slide it down here. Shake it up, baby, twist and shout, twist and shout. Okay, same with Johnny Be Good. Johnny Be Good. It's in C, and this is, I'm going to expand out to what I'm going to be teaching you. Uh, this is a three-chord song we're going to play it in C, Johnny Be Good. Go, Johnny, go. Oh, actually, let's do it in A. Go, Johnny, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go. One. Go, Johnny, go. Five, which is in Four. Johnny be good. So I'm going to teach you how to do this. Go! Go, Johnny, go! Go! Go, Johnny, go! Go! Go, Johnny, go! Go! Go, Johnny, go! Go! Johnny be good. Alright, that probably looked very confusing to you, but all that was was certain uh, little things that I'm going to be showing you in later lessons with three chords, the one, four, and five. So trust me, by following the numbering system that I'm telling you about right now, 
when you learn one thing, you're going to be able to do a thousand other things. And the problems usually with piano lessons is you learn one thing and that's all you learned. You learn one melody and just because you learned that melody, you never learned how to do anything else. So by learning how to accompany whatever else you're playing with or singing, you learn one thing, you can do a thousand things. So stop learning specific things and learn how to do everything. Please go to instantpianogenius.com for more free lessons and learn how you can play like a pro.